What's up there, Workforce? Chris here with work to game and I've spent a lot of time with Caravan Stories lately. It's a free-to-play MMO JRPG on PS4, and we have an initial impression sort of review coming out in a few days, but it doesn't really give me the chance to help a new player get started, so I'd like to do that now. The first thing that you're going to want to know is that the D-pad is your friend. I was likely 20 hours in before I realized I could get auto-run to trigger without opening the quest log by pushing right on the D-pad when I'm on the quest. The next is auto farming. If I'm setting up a farming session and want to loot and do battles, be sure you select loot first because if you select battle and you're close to something, once that battle triggers you're going to have to wait for it to exit before you can tell it, hey I also want loot. Now from here I find that with a little practice most of the UI and is really pretty easy to kind of sift through and very well labeled. So let's go to the main menu in the caravan because that can be a bit overwhelming. You'll notice that my PS4 drops a few frames sometimes, especially if I open the caravan while auto running, but that really just helps me make sure that I know where I'm going before I actually open it up. It always takes you back to the same screen, sometimes even after upgrading while you're in there, so you need to get to you know this and how to sift through it very quickly if you want to be efficient with the things you'd like to do while you play. There's a few things you want to check each and every time you play this game, and the first of those is your crystal and your gold. While these caps can be upgraded, you want to keep that these, these individual machines churning and generating these currencies as often as you are, and so you want to go ahead and keep them building towards their cap unless you are actually at your personal player cap, which will increase as you play the game more and more. The second is to have a building upgrading as often as possible. There are plenty of times that I can't actually afford to upgrade anything, and then there are other times where I can afford two or three builds at once, and so I like to make sure that when those times come along, I have them going back to back to back so that I can get through them as quickly as possible without the need to fast forward until I hit the next dry spell, and I can try to avoid using my limited currency for fast forwarding by just being effective about managing this. From here, anything you want to do, you're going to want to go ahead and do now. So that's checking in with your different heroes once a day. That's going ahead and getting anything crafting. Maybe you want to make some gear and you want to keep that moving along to fuse. There's a lot of systems in here that you want to check on and go ahead and do that before you push circle and back out to the main screen. Uh, you may notice that your character screen back here has a little blinking exclamation point on it pretty much all the time. And usually that's simply that you've added a beast or a hero and it wants you to check a Abilities. You can quickly do this if you know that it's just something you wanted for the sake of collecting and you're not going to use it right now by pressing X and then scrolling to the right through all of them and eventually when you pass over with that one, when you back back out with Circle, it should go away. You may need to actually go kind of click on that hero a bit. Uh, the exclamation point just kind of drives me nuts and I wanted to show you the trick that I found to knock that away that way. Now beyond this it may also blink because you have an upgrade available and it's important that you do this as often as possible. This could be the equipment, it could be anything like that and this gets less and less common as your heroes obviously get higher level but it's not ever any less important no matter how infrequent it is so just be sure you're at least looking at those options as often as they blink and let you know that they're there. From here, if you have your guild, be sure you check in at least once a day and engage with that system however much you see fit. And the last thing is deeds. Deeds are basically your achievements, but they give you the real money currency effectively. So if there's anything that comes along, say a fast forward or, or something that costs just very little of that, you can actually keep a pretty substantial amount of this around, especially if you've been checking on your deeds. So go ahead and open those up every time it blinks and says you have one because you never know when you're gonna wanna have that option and you can save yourself from having to spend real money if you've already kind of earned the equivalent. Now with the UI out of the way, the early game is mostly spent picking a quest from your quest log, which I have not found a limit to yet, and setting out to complete it. You will talk to hundreds and hundreds of NPCs it feels like, and you should try to pick up every quest you come across. Many of them simply want to give you resources just for clicking on them and letting them say a few words, and others ask for just a few materials that you may already have or will soon have while completing other quests in the area, and others seem to just be good quests to have along. Like I said, the log doesn't seem to have any limit, so just go ahead and keep picking those up and it'll help kind of guide you through the area. If you've been auto farming at all and doing your quests regularly, you will also have plenty of heroes and beasts to equip, keeping your team at six, even when it says, hey, certain things can't be used, you should have plenty of other options. 
And whatever team you use for your main as kind of your early game through most of the content should be way more powerful than anything in any of the places you go for at least the first several dozen hours. Now, if you're not having this experience, it's probably because you're not auto farming. So next time you need to go AFK, be sure you go ahead and take advantage of that so that you'll be back to being powerful in no time at all. Battle can often be left in auto battle anytime you're in the early areas where their BP, their, their power level, is substantially below yours. Uh, there's a few exceptions as you get into like big boss things or things like that. And as you move into later game, this definitely starts to want to use a more like hands-on approach but for the early game you really can't trust the auto battle if that's what you're looking for they won't be very good about dragging abilities to affect as many enemies as possible they won't be good about making a hero that's about to die run behind another hero that can take the hits and once the enemy shifts focus allowing that hero to go back in and add its damage back into the fray instead of laying dead for the rest of the battle and so i do find that hands-on will go faster but if you're feeling like you know what i'd rather just kind of sit here and relax and watch this, autoplay is something you can trust for the vast majority of your early playthroughs. I do find that some of the other modes are more hands-on in the early game, so if you're looking for that, just know that there is plenty of that going on, especially as you start to take on your first raids and dungeons and things like that. Uh, but most of the early game as you play through your initial reincarnations is very beginner-friendly, and so I appreciate that they really lean heavily into their autoplay system. The last thing is currency. You're going to be getting way more gold and gems than you can find a reasonable use for early on, especially until you get your material storage big enough to start keeping things around so that you can start engaging with the upgrade systems. So don't be afraid to try a little of a system here and there. I wouldn't try to spend everything I have every time I want to try a new system because you never know when the next system's right around the corner, but using a nice little piece of my current fortune is something that I can recover fairly quickly, and so if there's something that you want to try, a new system or a new upgrade or building a new piece of equipment, just know that most resources early on in the game are fairly replaceable, so feel free to dive in even if you feel like you could do it better later on, you will already likely recover the materials necessary to do so or know how to get them very easily. Now, this is just the brief advice that I wanted to offer for somebody playing through their first four story playthroughs, their first four reincarnations. Uh, as you play through those first initial ones, it's a lot of kind of the same content giving you a chance to really learn it as you unlock more and more and more heroes. And then the games will get more advanced from there, but just focus on this for now just enjoy it it's a very casual game it's very relaxing and it's something that i've found is more soothing than pretty much any other mmo i've i've ever played so if you come across questions let me know i'll do my best to answer but you're probably fine for your first 20 to 30 hours in this game especially if you're reading and or watching the cutscenes. i am very far from an expert but if i don't know the answer i'll do my best to find out and maybe you'll be the reason for the next guide on caravan stories my name is chris with work to game i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you next time hey guys it's me oh well if you don't know me my name's terry I'm a beautiful Tyrannosaurus from Texas, and it just it doesn't get more country than that. I tell you what, I grew up in these parts, I was resurrected by a ghost, and that ghost told me that I needed to come out and hang out on work to games YouTube channel to tell everybody they should totally hit that thumbs up. Thumbs down, make Terry hungry. That it makes me hungry. You hear me? Hungry. Anyway, Terry, just keep it keep it together. Keep keep it together, Terry. All right, guys. So, uh, with that doubt, that be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and hit subscribe if you haven't already to see more of me and my beautiful my beautiful nose. Okay, okay, all right. Good talking to you. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you real soon, Terry, the Tyrannosaurus from Texas. <laughs>